The new SZA album's been done, but the biggest thing getting in the way of it actually coming out is SZA herself. Let me explain. SZA is in a unique position as an artist in that she is signed to two labels, a major label, RCA Records, and a smaller, independent, but still well-known label, Top Dog Entertainment. RCA's roster has always been huge, past and present, and Top Dogs has kind of remained tight-knit and stagnant. SZA is far and away the biggest artist on that current roster. It's not even close. TDE had some real foresight signing her back in 20. 2013 as their first female artist. She turned out to be one of those artists with a special cult-like fan base akin to the likes of Frank Ocean. No, I'm not trying to compare Frank Ocean to SZA, but in terms of the internet breaking and the passionate outpouring of support for something like even a non-album single, the SZA fan base is right there with Frank's in my opinion. The problem is TDE knows this about SZA and her fan base. All the stars for the Black Panther soundtrack, 1 billion streams. The single hit different with Pharrell, the Neptunes, almost 175 million streams. Streams. Good Day is half a billion streams. Kiss Me More, 1.2 billion streams. I Hate You, which is practically a demo, 191 million streams. Fans are foaming at the mouth for anything new, and in the end, when it comes out, they get reminded how good Control is, and they go back to stream it, thus keeping it on the charts and the reason it's remained there for the five years it's been out, not to mention her absurdly large TikTok presence. Point being, there is zero incentive for Top Dog to put out this record anytime soon. I know it's not all on punch, the president of Top Dog, but he's the one answering when people ask, so I feel obligated to mention him. He just replies with soon whenever SZA or anyone else asks about the record's release date. And that's because it's kind of the right answer in a business sense. Why release all this profitable tension? Why be in any rush to put it out? SZA pulls numbers on the daily doing absolutely nothing that most artists can't even do when they're trying their best. And for TDE, she's a big reason they have some pretty good connects. Kiss Me More didn't happen because of TDE. It happened because of SZA and and Doja. SZA has outgrown TDE and TDE knows it, but they hold the cards right now because they have the release. And SZA's not about to scrap an album after she only has one out or jump to a different label to make something completely different. It is in TDE's best interest to hold on to the release as long as possible and mull over a release date to their heart's content. So do I think we'll get the album? I mean, probably eventually, yeah. But it's just so strange to watch SZA be in this five year limbo with seemingly the only freedom by default being to release a single, a Lucy, a demo, or hell, even a deluxe version of her debut album that came out five years ago. I'm not saying SZA's necessarily trapped or anything, and I'm not saying TDE's current lineup is irrelevant or untalented, because that is certainly not the case. But I do think there's a point to be made when fans get hashtag free SZA some buzz on Twitter. That doesn't just happen because people are out here trying to hurt your feelings. If you look beyond the angry internet hate speech, it happens because those people might have a point. Having your biggest artist only have one full-length LP on her discography in the almost 10 years since you signed her back in 2013 is kind of ridiculous. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.